Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tina Okonkwo and in this video, I'll show you how to create a date table using the DAX calendar and the calendar auto function in Power BI. But before I do that, you might ask why exactly we need to create a date table. In Power BI, when you have the auto date time feature on, Power BI creates underlying tables for each date column in your dimension tables. And what this does is that it increases the size of your data model and it can drastically slow down your reports. Another reason is that having a date table allows you to customize, especially when performing time intelligence calculations. So today we're going to be looking at how to use calendar and calendar auto function to create your date table. To create your date table, all you have to do is to go to the date table view over here and click on new table. Once the formula bar pops up, as it's the case with every formula you write in Power BI, you have to name your table. So I'm going to call this date equals to, and then what I want to do is call the calendar function. Now, what the calendar function does is it takes a start date and the end date and returns a table with all the dates from that start date to the end date. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to write two different dates. Say, for example, I want to create a date table from 1st of January 2023 to um, 31st of December 2024. All I'm going to do is I'm going to write my dates. I'll call my... Um, date function, and I'm going to write the year, month, and day. So 2023, 1st of January, I'll close this bracket, and then I would write this, my end date, which is 2024, 12.31. And then I just want to close and click on enter. Now, once I do this, you would see over here that it has created a date column, right? From um, the range between 1st of January, 2023 to 31st of December. If I decide to sort this in descending order, you would see that the last date you see there would be December 31st, 24, which is what you can see over here. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now, the second one is your calendar auto function. Your calendar auto function goes through your entire data model and picks the earliest and latest dates and generates a date range between these two tables. And how do you use your calendar auto function? So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to clear this. And instead of calendar, I'm going to click on calendar auto. And automatically, you will look through your entire data model and pick the earliest and the latest dates. Now, the difference between your calendar and your calendar auto function is that for your calendar function, it is ge it's generic. It's not dynamic in the sense that whenever you have a new date, you always have to go back to your date, um, to your formula and update it. But for your calendar auto function, it is very dynamic in the sense that once your data model changes, there's a new date, it picks up that new date and it automatically updates. Now, we're going to try to customize this to add extra information such as our month, our quarter, year, day of the month, day of the week, and every other information like that to sort of, um, if you, so like in case you want to write um, time tel intelligence calculation, for example, this becomes really easy. So for me to do that, I'm going to make use of the add column function in Power BI. So I'm just going to move this down and I'm going to use add columns. I'm going to call the add column function. And what I want to do is I'm going to put a comma here. I'll go to the next line for readability's sake. And then I want to call my first column, which is my year column. And to extract my year column, I'll be using the year function and I would call my date column. And I'm going to close this bracket. And then the second column I want to try to extract is the quarter. And for the quarter, I'm just going to um, give my column a name as well, quarter. And then I'm going to use the quarter function to extract this as well. And then I'll call the date column All 
another thing i'm going to try to extract is the month so i'm going to call my column name as well and i'll be using the month function now here's where the problem is when you use the month function to extract the month what it does is it extracts the month number but we want to be able to visualize or uh, analyze our data by our month name so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call or write create a new column that sort of return the month name but this time around i'm using the format function to format my month number as a string so i would Click on format and I'll call my date column. And then I want to format it as a string. So I'll just call M four times to specify month name. And then I'm going to click on comma. I also want to get the short form of my month name. So I'm going to call another um, or create another column and call this month name short. And I'm also going to, I'll just copy what I already have here. But instead of having four M's this time around, what I want to have is just three M to signify that I wanted to return only the first three letters of my month. So there are uh, many other things you can extract using this. I'll probably leave a link in the description below um, for many other things you can try to extract using the calendar auto function. So I'm just going to close this bracket and click on enter and once we do that you can see that it has generated um different columns with all the names i specified we now have our year quarter month month name and also our month name short now after creating your calendar table don't forget to always mark your uh, calendar table or your date table as a date so all you just have to do is come to your table tools over here and click on mark as date table and you want to toggle this button on when you click on mark as date table this pops this pops up and you just want to toggle this button on and select your date column after doing that you want to click on save and there you have it guys this is how to create a date table in power bi using dax the dax calendar function and the dax calendar auto function if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my, to my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next tutorial.